Hey everyone, we're here in the field to test the brand new iFly Protec 35, which is a new style of quad by iFlight, which they say is something in between cinematic and freestyle. You've got the Protec 25 and the 35 here. I chose the 35 because it's got the full fat DJI air unit so you can do onboard 1080p recording and because of the bigger motors and the bigger size they say it can handle a full size action camera too which we'll be testing that out. Um, apart from that I'm going to get straight onto the flight footage so test it in different variations and then afterwards I'll give you my opinion on everything and we can do the full spec and show you the unboxing and what comes with everything. So without further ado let's get to the flying. Hi, so we're back in the warmth now with the Protec 35 HD and I'm going to go through everything that I experienced over the last couple of days. Ended up doing two days of flying. First day was slightly disappointing. Um, ended up being in an open field with about 10 miles an hour winds. So I experienced some yaw washout. So I definitely wanted to get out there and do the second day of filming. The second day is actually the video was prior to this segment. And as you can see, it was a much better day. The first day, I think because of the wind, the quad was affected, especially because of the design and the ducts that you have around it would catch the wind a lot more. So another thing I did on the first day was to try my action camera, the Insta360 1R, which you can put on this pre-installed bracket here. It handled it okay. It was struggling to some degree. Um, I was getting probably about two and a half minutes flight time with that on. Without the action camera, I got around four and a half to five minutes. Not not sure why it's that much below what they have stated. Um, could be a little bit to do with the cold, but I think maybe it's, it's just you. Uh, realistically, that's what you're going to get, probably around five to six minutes, depending on what 4S you use. I used a 1500 milliamp 4S battery on this which was good enough, I would say. Yeah, Power-wise, good. I would have preferred the 6S, but when I ordered this, they actually said they're not gonna be doing a 6S, as it was way too similar 
to the forest so they're gonna uh, discontinue that idea and then actually after I did this yesterday or the day before on Instagram I saw that they're testing a success so I don't know what's going on with that one in terms of spec and build they've done a great job with this it's very well put together you've got easy access on both sides with the panels coming off the panel on the top as I said just comes off easily it's got great components the latest iFlight flight controllers and the DJI full fat air unit everything in there great new Zing motors really solidly built also um, these took some impact yesterday and nothing happened not even a scratch and that's even without the sponge padding which I haven't put on yet so the second day ended up being a much better day it was a colder day probably about two or three degrees centigrade but I really got to grips with this a lot more um, I think primarily because of the wind it flew a lot smoother hardly got any your washout and got some nice footage as you could see in the video prior to this that was all on the second day where the golf course is and the wooded area overall if you're looking to have this for a cinematic quad then this is a great one to go for you can really slow it down you can do smooth shots and in terms of adding a camera on it I would say a light or a naked GoPro or something like that would be much better suited to this another thing which I was curious about is trying to actually fly this indoors in like a bigger environment obviously not your house or anything like that unless you have a massive house you know kind of like warehouse size places where I think this will really thrive because of the lack of wind and the environment and you can really slow it down and get some really nice cinematic smooth flowing things like that I hope you've enjoyed watching my review on the footage and happy flying please subscribe and like to support me and I'll see you next time